Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Brenda with Busy Bees Custom Creations. And tonight I am going to be making a cardinal wreath. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree and I have it set up like I normally do. I have two full size pipe cleaners um, on the crossbar on the inner ring and then one across from that half pipe cleaner and then a full one in between. Okay, so I have that in each section. So we are going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using this um, black and red buffalo plaid fabric mesh. And I have it cut to 20 inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold the edge under a little bit. And then I'm going to fold this edge under a little bit. And then you can follow that line right down the center. If you have trouble with your ruffles, start out with some mesh that has that line down the center so you can keep it even. Okay. And then we are just going to put a ruffle in each of the pipe cleaners. Okay. I'm going to kind of overlap them a little bit like that and move on to the next one. Don't you just love this sign? It says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2.11. I just love this sign. So that's what we're going to use. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. Okay, again, I like to just tuck those edges under, and that way you don't get a bunch of fraying showing. I'm going to ruffle right up that center and put it in the next pipe cleaner. And you kind of want to center it in those pipe cleaners, and then just kind of overlap them that and then go to the next one so we're going to do that all the way around and the way I set up my frames I have um, 12 full-size pipe cleaners and six half-size pipe cleaners and the half pipe cleaners I just put mesh in I don't put ribbon in um, it's just a preference, kind of, you know, how I started doing it and kind of stuck with it. So I don't um, put ribbon in the half pipe cleaners. And with the way I do it, the inner row, you'll have six full size pipe cleaners. And the outer row, you'll have the six full and the six half. So again, I just tuck that little edge under. So you don't get the fray. And then ruffle right down the center. And that rock just kind of helps to hold um, your ruffle, your mesh down so you can get it in there. So it's not moving all over the place on you. So if you find, you know, you have trouble with your mesh kind of sliding all over, just, you know, get something heavy. You can use a cup, you can use a stapler, you know, whatever you want. I just got that little rock from the Dollar Tree and it works perfectly. You know, I'm not really ready for Christmas yet, but you now in the wreath world, we gotta kinda be ahead of the game. So again, we're just gonna ruffle right down the center. Okay. And put it in that full-size pipe cleaner. And you want to kind of center the ruffle in the pipe cleaner. And I just twist it twice. And then kind of overlap it a little bit. Pull those ruffles up. So again, just tuck that edge under. And all of this, the mesh is cut to 20 inches. I like to use the 20 inch ruffle. A lot of people like to use the 30. 
again, it's totally up to you what size ruffle you want to use. I think a 20 inch um, makes a nice full wreath as well. And that way you only use one roll of mesh. Um, if you cut your ruffles to 20 inches, then you usually out of a 10 yard roll, you will get 18 pieces. And just tuck that under because you see how you know you get some frayed edges there. I don't know if you can see that, but I just like to tuck them under out of the way so that we don't have those rough edges coming through. And now we're going to start on the outer row, and we're going to do the same thing go around. Okay, kind of overlap those ruffles, pull the upper ruffles up, and move on to the next one. And tuck that under. And you're just kind of using your fingers to gather the mesh towards you. And like I said, that rock kind of helps it to really hold that into place. So it's not going all wonky on you. Okay, we're going to go to the next pipe cleaner here. And it's a half one, so we're going to tuck that under out of the way. Okay, just like that. And this um, mesh only came in a five yard roll. So I cut two of them, you know, at one time. I think I showed you how to do that using my little sidekick mesh roller from Susie Brown. We're gonna tuck that in there. Kind of overlap them a little bit. Those pipe cleaners out. So you see how nice and full this side is looking? This is the side that has the inner and the outer row done. So we're just going to keep going around. Tuck that under. And fold. Oops, to turn my, forgot to turn my glue pot on. I need to do that. a half pipe cleaner again. You kind of have to move that other ruffle out of the way and tuck that in under there. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. going by quick that's for sure before you know it it's going to be back to school time okay. another one in there see how nice and full that side is and this side we only did the one row we're just going to keep going around with just a couple more to go here. Tuck that under and go right down the center. You want to try and keep your ruffle nice and straight so it doesn't go all wonky on you. There we go. Oh yeah, there we are. And I am doing a giveaway on King Sumo. It is in the comments. 
and you're entering for a chance to win five of my most popular five by seven truck signs. You will get a um, strawberry truck sign, a watermelon truck sign, a patriotic truck sign, a bee truck sign, and a sunflower truck sign. So be sure to go and join that giveaway. You get five entries for um, subscribing to my YouTube channel through that link, five entries for favoring my Etsy shop through the link, and then entries for sharing it. And you can enter twice or two times every day. So make sure you go sign up for that. I will be choosing a winner on July 26th. So make sure you tune in to that Monday Night Live on July 26th to hear who won. This makes a nice full week. I love the fabric mesh. It's just nice and soft and I really like it. Okay, a couple more here. And we're going to add our ribbons. And we have some berries and some cardinals. Again, don't forget to go join my King Sumo giveaway. I'll show you the signs in just a minute. And share the giveaway link with your friends, please, so they can have a chance to win also. The more the merrier. And I am live every Monday and Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel. So I would love it if you would join me live as well. Again, you want to try to keep that... Um, in the center, your ruffle there. Okay, two more to go. Again, you just want to tuck that under. Yeah, it's on. Okay. All right, so tuck that under. Gather it together. Okay, so the last half pipe cleaner here. And I just kind of tuck those out of the way since I don't put ribbon or anything in them. Last one. Okay, whoops, now I have to find where that last one is. Did I cut too many? Have one in there, 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 there. Oh, there it is. I knew it was there somewhere. Sometimes they hide on you. can't find where you missed one just turn it around like that and check the back okay so there is the wreath it's nice and full so now we're going to go ahead and add our ribbons and this is the ribbons I picked out to match the sign I have this cardinal one there 
and then I have this one with berries and pine cones. So we're going to add one of these in each of the pipe cleaners. And these are cut, excuse me, to 12 inches. So you just fold them in half. And then where that fold was, you're going to gather it together and then put one in each of the pipe cleaners. Okay. Pull the cardinal ribbon across and the pine cone ribbon down. See? Okay, let's warm it up better. All right, now this ribbon does have a design on it, so you want to make sure that your designs all go the same direction when you're putting your ribbon onto your pipe cleaners. Okay, you want to make a little birdie there. Find your pipe cleaner. So you'll have six on the top and six on the bottom row, or the inner row and outer row, whichever one you want to call it. Okay. Again, these are cut to 12 inches. And you just fold it in half to find that center and then gather together where that fold was. And then pull that one ribbon set down and the others across. So just to recap, we did 20 inch ruffles with 10 inch mesh cut to 20 inches. And we did those ruffles and then we have the ribbons cut to 12 inches. And we just fold them in half and then gather them together where that fold is. Okay, isn't that look pretty? I love these ribbons in this mesh. The fabric mesh is one of my favorite mesh to work with. It's just nice and soft on your hands. find the next pipe cleaner. Sometimes they kind of hide on you. Now I just prefer to use the Dollar Tree frames and use my own, make my own. But um, you know you can use the pre-made ones but they're really hard to find these days and so are the Dollar Tree frames. I hit the jackpot the other day. I went into a Dollar Tree and found about 20 of them. So I snatched them up you know, they're hard to find these days. You can't find your stuff. Supplies are getting harder and harder to find. So if you find them, grab them when you find them, because they might not be there the next time. You used to be able to order them on their website by the case, but now they don't, they're all back ordered, so... to find some more cardinal ribbon too. It's getting, haven't found any lately, so need to get some more of that. Again, we're just continuing around the wreath, putting in our ribbon tails. And again, the ribbon tails are cut to 12 inches. And then I just dovetailed the ends. And if you don't know how to dovetail the ends, you just fold them together and then just cut them at an angle. Cut them from the fold to the edge. And that's how you do, you dovetail the ends. Okay, 
again just find that center gather it together and you kind of make a little birdie with your ribbons there and then pop it in for each pipe cleaner and I pull one set down and one set across now this time I just happen to be using two of the two and a half inch ribbon you can use one two and a half one one and a half you can use two two and a half you can use two one and a half you can use a mixture of both there's really no rules in wreathing so it's all kind of what you like to do and how you like your wreath to be if you cut your tails um, shorter you'll see more of your mesh if you cut them longer it will cover up a little bit more I tend to stick with um, 12 inch ribbon tail so you can still see some of the mesh I like to see the mesh I know it's just a base but I kind of like to see some of my mesh sticking through so but again that's totally how you like your wreath to look and you know no two people are going to make the same wreath no matter if we have the exact same supplies um, you know, I've been to wreath conventions where there's, you know, 50 people in a room and you all have the exact same supplies and every wreath turns out different. So that's the good thing about wreath making. How you make something can be totally different than how somebody else makes something. You know, we all have our own style and how we like to do things. Okay, last one. Fold that in half. And then gather it together. Okay, I don't think we're going to make a bow to put on this. And again, that's optional. You don't have to make a bow. It's got a lot of ribbon on it already, but it's totally up to you. Okay. So that's what our wreath looks like. We have the sign, and then we'll put um, a bow over here. And we have some berries. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to get our Pro Bow 4-in-1 Bow Maker. Kind of my go-to bow maker these days. Okay, we're going to need a zip tie, and I didn't get a pipe cleaner out, so we will just use some wire. So we're going to get our ribbons out here, and I'm going to start with the. Pine cone ribbon. This is Sam's ribbon I have here. I'm going to dovetail the end. Okay, I'm going to make about a 10, uh, 15 inch tail. Put that in. I'm going to make the 3 2 1 bow. And basically, all that is is your first ribbon you do three loops on each side so we're going to do three loops at six inches okay you're going to twist that and that brings the pretty side up six inches on that side okay, again you're going to twist to bring the pretty side of the ribbon facing up Measure out your six inches and twist your ribbon again. Measure out the six inches. Okay, and twist. Okay, 
twist that ribbon. All right, and we're done with that one. Okay, so then I like to kind of move my loops where I want them to be as I'm kind of designing the bow. Okay. So we're done with that one. Now, this one is the one with the design on it. So you need to do ones that have a design on it by hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dovetail the ends. And again, all you do is fold it in half and then cut from the fold to the edge. All right. So I'm going to do about the same length tail. I'm going to gather that together. I don't want to put it on my bow maker because we're not going to twist. I'm going to measure out 12 inches because we want six inch loops. Okay. So we got 12 inches. So what you do is you bring your ribbon up and gather it together. Now you're not going to twist this at all. Measure 12 inches again and bring it up. And what that does, it has all of your ribbons going the same direction. So we're going to measure 12 inches and bring it up. So this allows you to have your ribbons without having, you know, one facing one way, one facing another way, they're all going to be going the same direction. Did I twist that? I think I twisted that one. There we go. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to cut the tail. Okay. So now you can place it in your bone maker. Just like that. Okay, now you can see how all of your um, little birdhouses are going all in the same direction. Now the tails, you will have one tail facing one way, one tail facing the other way, but that's okay. All right, so we're done with that ribbon. And then I'm going to use this shiny ribbon here. And this is a Sam's Club ribbon as well. We're going to dovetail the end. And I'm going to make a long over tail on this one. And I'm just going to do one loop on each side. And I'm going to bring it in probably about four or five inches and then cut that one off. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you want to measure to make sure those loops are the same size. You can just bring them up. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and you want to make sure you get under all of your ribbons and bring that around. Okay, pull it off. Okay, then you want to take that to the center where that indent is and pull it to the back. Okay, and I forgot to get a pipe cleaner, so I'm just going to use my wire. And this is just 26 gauge silver floral wire. And I like this because it's nice and thin and it blends right in with the wreath. Okay, so I'm going to slide that underneath that zip tie. And then tighten the zip tie up just a little bit. You don't want to tighten it up all the way yet because you want to break your bow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these loops and tails exactly where I want them. I'm going to open them up. 
That's what gives your bow life, is open up those loops with your hand. Okay, just like that. And do the same thing on this side. Open that up. Get those loops where you want them. Okay, and there we go. All right, so once you have it the way you want it, you want to tighten up that zip tie as tight as you can get it. And then go ahead and cut that zip tie off. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our wreath back here. We're going to put our bow on this side. Now, if you have trouble getting your bow or your um, signs or whatever else on, you want to get these um, little needles. And all you do is you feed it through, and it helps you go right through the mesh so you're not fighting with trying to feed it through. And I'm going to take the other end and do the same thing. Feed it right through that mesh. Okay, and I'm just going to tie that together on the back of the wreath. Just twisting those wires together, and then I'm just going to wrap them around the frame. And that way my bow won't slide around. Okay, and that's all you have to do, and you want to make sure these wires aren't sticking out and scratching your customer's door. Okay. Okay, now we'll get our sign on. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole in the top here, and I have a um, link on Amazon to where you can get this hole punch and just literally goes right through these signs. It works perfectly. Okay, and then I'm going to take my 26 gauge wire again. Okay, I'm going to take one piece and feed it through one hole. And I like to twist my sign. It makes for a tighter twist there. And then I'll do the other thing on the other end. Okay. Center that and then twist that end together. Okay, and then we'll put our sign on. And again, we want to get our needle. We're going to feed it right through the needle. And you can do this together. And then just twist that around your base again. And I like to try and find a crossbar so your sign doesn't slide around. Okay, so that's on one crossbar. And then we'll do the same thing to the bottom here. Feed it through that needle. And right through the mesh. And right around the frame. All right, so there we have our sign and our okay. So what we'll do is we'll twist these up, and you just take them and roll them, and then kind of pull that apart, 
and it will okay and then pull that out all right then we have some of our little cardinals that I have and some berries so all I'm going to do with the cardinals is I'm just going to put them here and there. I think I'm going to put one in the bow. Okay, and this just clips on. You can glue it on if you want. Um, I just kind of clip it on. And it sits right there in the bow. And then I think we'll add one down here on the bottom. And again, I'm just going to take the pipe cleaner and twist it together and then kind of make a little circle for that cardinal to clip onto, okay? All right, so we have one there, one there, and then I think we'll put one up here. Like I said, you can just clip it on. You can glue them on if you want, once you know exactly where you want them to be. Okay, that one's going to kind of peek out from there. All right, and then we have these berries. I'm going to add them here and there. And what I will do with these is I will cut a little bunch off. And I take my pipe cleaner and I twist it together and I create a little circle for that to go into all right just like that and then I dip this in my glue and put it right through that circle and it kind of gives it something to hold on to there just like that okay so I'm gonna put some of those here and there around my wreath as well again just kind of create that little circle to kind of put it through and you can use as many or as little of these as you like I'm gonna cut these little nubs off here Okay, and also, you see where this berry kind of like stuck to another berry and you can see the white? So what I do is I just take a red permanent marker and I just kind of roll it on there and then that covers up that little white spot so you don't see that white spot sticking out. Okay, you just stick that right in there. some down here. Now you can add more berries, you can add more cardinals, kind of whatever you want to do. Okay, see how those berries kind of stick together? When you pull them apart, that's where you get that um, the white part. So all, like I said, all I do is I just take a magic marker and just kind of fill in where you see that white spot at. And voila, it's gone. You can't even tell, right? You just color it in with that red marker and you never even knew it was there. Because these tend to like stick together like that. So and that's all you can do. You just take it and put that red marker right over that white area 
and you don't even see where that was. We have our cardinals, we have our berries, right, because we have them in the sign. And you could even put some greenery in there if you want as well. Let's use this set here. See, there's one, a spot. So we're just going to take our marker again and just cover that right up. Because those little balls are just styrofoam, you know, covered in paint and stuff, and they get chipped off. So. Just about done here. Let's see where we need something else. Right. Let's, see. Let's add some berries over here. Just make that little circle. Cut off some of the berries. And that one's stuck to that one there. Again, just take your red marker wherever you see that and just really color it in and you're never going to notice. Even maybe put a little berry up here where the cardinal's sitting on the bow. Kind of make it look like he's eating the card, a uh, little berry there. Alrighty, I think that is it. Let's take a look at it and see what we think. Through all of my fingernails. Okay, there we go. There's our bow. We can cut this a little shorter. We don't need it quite that long. Alrighty, there's our wreath. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. There's a little glue on there. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to join my King Sumo giveaway. Um, I am giving away five of my most popular 5x7 truck signs. And that is the watermelon truck. And the sunflower truck the welcome patriotic truck it's strawberry time truck and of course i have to throw a bee one in there my little bee truck okay so don't forget to um it's in the description to sign up for my king sumo giveaway you will get um five entries for subscribing to my youtube channel through the link five entries for um favoring my etsy shop through the link and also you'll get two entries daily 
and more entries if you share it with your friends. So please share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Thank you again for joining me and God bless you. Have a great night.